gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to this pleasant and solemn function organized this morning to recognize excellence in packaging in diverse components and industries and to confer the SIS SOP Star Awards for the year 2023. One of the hallmarks of a good society is to sustain innovation at all levels of its functioning, to do things differently with a singular focus on avoiding wastage of scarce natural resources and to sustain ecological equilibrium as would facilitate and promote harmonious living amongst the various beings on this planet Earth. One of the key objectives of any human endeavor is quality. Quality is the key and the defining element of all human endeavors in the 21st century in the context of new social realities and the changing paradigms that are being witnessed. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is an habit and not an act, said Aristotle. Excellence is essentially attitude driven. There is a school of thought, minor as it may be, that quality and excellence coming out of it are highly resource specific. This is only partially valid. Experience has established overwhelmingly that it is the attitude, the mind that plays a centric and a crucial role in quality assurance and focused research. One of the key objectives of institutions like ours is not only to adopt the best and the highest of all these practices in the field of our functioning, but just not limited to that, but also disseminate it across the spectrum for other institutions as well. One of the key objectives again of institutions is to isolate islands of excellence from the vast reservoir of humanity, stand them out and showcase them to the rest of the world so that the residual citizenry can be inspired and motivated by the record of achievements of those excellent epitomes that are showcased to them, draw inspiration from them and also inspire themselves to reach such levels no less than the ones that have been reached by the people who have been celebrated as excellent people. It is with this in view that the South Indian Education Society started the SIA Sheets and the Shekri and the Saraswati National Eminence Award 26 years ago. These awards are given in four distinct fields of human endeavor, public leadership, community leadership, science and technology, and spiritual leadership and philosophy. In a sense, all these aggregate to the full gamut of life. These awards, therefore, are a celebration of life itself. Over these 26 years, these awards have been conferred on 105 men and women of extraordinary achievements and outstanding accomplishments. People who have stamped infinity on the thought and process of the nation and added to the reservoir of goodness of this blessed land of ours. These also include a few of the foreigners who espouse the cause of Indian culture in their homelands. This journey of celebrating excellence continues as a festival in SIES. The SIES SOP Star Awards was initiated in the year 2017 in the, with the same objective that we had set for ourselves with our National Eminence Award. This award was essentially brought in to focus on excellence in packaging and bring to fore a competitive platform to enable competing companies to showcase the best that they have brought out, out of the resources that are at their command and enhance value ultimately for the consumer. In its seventh edition, it has attracted corporates, large, small and medium, as he had said at the beginning, with over 200 entries that have come this year to bring to the fore all the goodness that they have brought about through creativity, through design, aesthetics and above all with a singular focus as to how to reach the hearts and minds of the consumer so as to shift the consumer preferences and get an expansion for the market, for the product itself. The, these awards, as he had said, 
are already recognized by the World Packaging Organization with the result those who qualify as winners from this award automatically qualify for the World Packaging Series awards and it is gratifying as I said 6 out of 10 of the entries that had gone from India had reached global standards meriting acknowledgement and awards. The SISSOP School of Technology Packaging Technology Center was started in the year 2001 to bridge the gap between education and research and training. It adopted the motto, Better Living Through Better Packaging. The various academic offerings of this school of packaging, both at the graduate the postgraduate level and the extension programs for working executives have attracted wide attention and from the overwhelming response of the student community and the people in industry who want to progress further, it has come to stay as one of the front ranking academic programs in the country. Again, these awards, uh, these uh, academic offerings have been approved with the World Packaging Organization with the result the employability post qualification is not just pan Indian but global as well. The Packaging Technology Center of the School of Packaging has been recognized as a scientific research organization by the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research of the Government of India. It is one of the very few institutions in the country, academic institutions in the country, which enjoys weighted deduction for contribution to research and development under Section 3512 of the Income Tax Act 1961. It has indeed been an eventful year for the School of Packaging as outlined by him in the report that he had presented to you. What is singularly important is that from the hustle and bustle, from a campus bursting with themes with multidisciplinary, multifunctional faculties, they have moved over to a more serene, cerebrous environment which will promote and facilitate better research, better applicability of the technologies both in the field of environment and in the field of packaging. The International Association for Packaging Research Institutions, which is in its 51st year, in its 31st biannual members conference, for the first time came to India. It was hosted by the School of Packaging, as he had indicated. Sri, Sri Piyush Goel, the Honorable Union Minister for Industries and Commerce, inaugurated the three-day conference between 23rd and 25th of May. And to the delegates who are present, mostly from developed countries, a few students here and there, and very few institutional members from India, he showcased what a galloping economy like that of India can unfold in the years ahead, opening up new vistas of opportunity for all the citizens across the globe. As he correctly said, the feedback that has been received from IAPRI and the words that have been brought down by the Secretary General and the current, the then president, are adequate testimony that this conference was overdue in India. They could have come much earlier. Packaging typically constitutes less than 10% of the carbon footprint of a product. The bulk of the footprint essentially comes from the primary material itself, the, the active material and the mode of consumption of that material. Despite the relatively low carbon footprint of packaging, packaging plays a very crucial and important role in so far as it preserves and protects the active ingredient, the active material through the supply chain and ultimately before it reaches the consumer, it also facilitates changing consumer behavior, promotes consumer preference and ultimately leaves the destination of the product in the hands of the consumer thereby expanding the market itself. The global packaging industry suffered a serious setback during the pandemic. The health crisis that set in for two years had a telling effect on all human endeavors. So packaging industry could be no exception. But what is gratifying and redeeming is that even before the virulence of the virus had subsided, the packaging industry had recovered itself and by the end of the coronavirus pandemic, it had touched $1 trillion US dollar sales 
for the first time in the global market of packaging. It is expected to grow between the period 2024 to 2029 from the present level of 1.13 trillion US dollars to 1.38 trillion US dollars. The story of Indian packaging industry is no different. It is aligned to the global realities in the expanding global market for packaging. During the period 2024 to 29, the Indian packaging industry is expected to grow at an astounding 11.6% CAGR compounded annual growth rate. This accelerated momentum for packaging industry is accentuated, accelerated and contributed by the changing styles of e-commerce, the vast expansion in the market of pharmaceuticals, food products and fast-moving consumer industry. It is the fifth largest sectoral economy in the country. But the share of Indian pharma packaging industry to the global packaging is infinitesimal, it's too small and worthy of being ignored in the ordinary course. But then several policies of the government of India which have been initiated in recent times like the Atma Nirvar Bharat, the Self-Reliant India have had a very positive impact on the packaging industry. When the economy itself is on the resurgence and is galloping as I said before, it would not be out of place if I were to say that the Indian packaging industry by the turn of 2029 or before the end of this decade shall occupy, grab, seize a very substantial, sizable share of the global market far more than what the planners have estimated between 2024 to 2029 today. Indian packaging industry is on the sunrise and it is for everyone to take advantage of this fast-moving industry. The SIS SOP Star Awards is a small step, but it's a very effective step in promoting excellence in packaging. From the fact that several corporates of all dimensions from all sectors of the Indian economy have been participating in the SIS SOP Star Awards, showcasing all the presentations which are independently assessed by a jury, which goes into almost all facets of what packaging can offer from the selection of the material, from the avoidance of wastage of natural resources, from the ease of transportability of the material, from the greater degree of ensuring the potency and the long shelf life of the active product that is being held by it. More importantly, cost containment, aesthetics, design and ultimate design which also facilitates easy consumption of the product itself, particularly in relation to the pharmaceutical industry, where it is far more relevant that you can ensure compliance if it is easy to gulp or easy to take, and all ultimately leading to only one singular factor emerging as the darling of the consumer. I think that's the purpose of the entire industry, that you have to reach that goal, and these are the parameters under which they are independently assessed by the independent jury before people are brought onto the stage. We are beholden to Professor Sood for his inspiring presence this morning. He has come all the way from New Delhi only to be with us for this event to motivate all of you to ensure that you go back saying that we have received the award at the hands of the IES Scientific Authority of this country. He shall go back to this evening itself to connect with his national duties. His very presence adds to the primacy, the importance that he assigns to packaging in the overall growth of the Indian economy and more importantly, the application of science and technology in the evolution of packaging itself. We greet and felicitate all the award winners who have come to the victory stands. Their presentations have earned the merit of the jury, not that it is the finality of what they have achieved. They too have a very long way to go. But the symbolic presentation of the award is the beginning of a journey that will take them to the peak, the elixir of excellence. And to all those who have missed the bus, who could not make it, it's not end of the world. To an economy which is so robust, 
which is growing at such rapid pace enough opportunities will come everyone's way in whatever endeavors we are in much less in the field of packaging that they too if they were to apply themselves singularly focused on innovation and creativity they too shall come to the post one day and hit the victory stands our best wishes are there for all of them the indian economy is growing at a rapid pace as i have said it is the largest growing macro economy the large size economy in terms of gdp a well known fact it is the fifth largest major economy in the world poised to become the third largest in just about 2 years from now the entire peninsula today is blown over by a wave of innovation from hardly around 4000 patent applications that were received in the patent registry by 2014 today we have about 100000 applications which are coming and knocking at the doors of the patent office for recognition and last year about 48000 patents were granted in a single year showing well that indians have adopted the creative path the path of innovating improving constantly changing for the good of humanity not long ago india had hardly around 400 startups by 2014 today we have around 100000 startups the unicorns the hectacons the tetracons all adding great economic value to this nation and to the products that they are promoting as in commerce across the globe in the amritkal period of this nation between 2022 to 2047 when india would be celebrating the centenary of its independence may we all strain every sinew grid up our lives shirk the inertia that has enveloped us momentarily at times plunge forward to take this nation to its rightful place amongst the committee of nations of the world by 2047 the country should emerge not only as one of the top economic powerhouses of the world but also as a vishwa guru that exalted position that india enjoyed a few centuries ago may we all be blessed to be partners in progress to realize the india for dreams thank you god bless